hello so in the today video we are going to learn about the origin of coral reefs last video we discussed about the coral reefs what are these things and different types of coral reefs and the formation of atoll we discussed so in this particular uh, video we are going to cover the topic which is given in your syllabus that different theories of coral reef formation okay so there are two type of theories uh, broadly categorized in this group like the one is first one is subsidence theories and the non subsidence theories okay so with the help of these names you can understand that the first theories will be related to the subsidence of the sea floor and the another one the non subsidence theory is related to the there is there should be no any kind of subsidence evidence so that these uh, coral reefs can be formed okay so uh, under the under the category of these two theories actually we uh, categorize or we differentiate the uh, different theories of coral reef formation okay so first we are going to learn about the subsidence theory in which uh, darwin subsidence theory is very much important okay darwin subsidence theory is very much important and it comes under the first category okay so this theory was put forth by the charles darwin because he was very much interested in the study of coral reefs how atolls are formed he was very much interested and thus this theory was proposed by him and actually uh, during 1837 it was put forth by him but it was modified in 1842 he was doing a journey to bigel and then he came across with the this coral polyps and coral reef and then he started uh, giving uh, what we say uh, understanding to how these coral reefs are formed so he assumes darwin assumes that along a suitable platform coral polyps flock together and give upward towards a low water level he told that there should be a platform under the water there should be a platform and on that platform all the coral polyps these are the tiny animals which i discussed these coral polyps will get together okay these will be joined together and then they will start developing they will start grow, growing in the upward direction okay upward direction means towards the surface of the ocean okay in the shallow water zone so he told like that so the resulting reef so when these are joining to get together they will form a reef like a structure a strong stable structure and the resulting reef in this condition would be a fringing reef okay because it is uh, bordering the coastal land or bordering the island so the first stage will be the fringing reef but at the same time darwin assumes that the sea floor and the projecting land in coral seas started submerging so what happens in the next stage first he told that the uh, accumulation of coral polyps and all these uh, coral skeleton will result into the formation of fringing reef the first stage will be the fringing reef then he told that the sea floor sea floor means the platform to which these coral polyps are attached so the sea floor will be started submerging it will go down to the bottom of the uh, ocean so what happens the living corals found themselves in deeper waters so the attached coral to the sea floor will also submerged to the deeper water hence an urge to grow upward and outward would be balanced by the subsidence of the land so what happen when they are also submerging but their tendency is to grow upward to the surface of the ocean water so they will start growing in the upward direction as a result of this darwin postulated that the fringing reef barrier reefs and atolls are only three stages in the evolutionary growth of a reef so what happens this fringing reef when it subsides when it submerges to the oceanic water due to the upward tendency of growth these coral polyps will move towards the surface of oceanic water and then they will form the barrier reef structure and after barrier reef structure then again if subsidence is happening the atolls are formed so according to darwin he told that this fringing reef barrier reefs and atolls the three types of coral reefs are the only stages 
स्टेज आना फर्स्ट स्टेज ले फ्रिंजिंग रीफ आवा देन बैरियर रीफ देन अटॉल्स आर फॉर्म ओके लाइक वी हैव स्टडीड नो द थ्री स्टेजेस ऑफ रिवर यूथ मैच्योर एंड ओल्ड स्टेज इन द सेम वे ही टोल्ड दैट द कोरल रीफ्स आर फॉर्म इन स्टेज वाइज कंडीशन फर्स्ट विल बी द फ्रिंजिंग देन बैरियर एंड देन अटॉल्स ही डिडेंट टेल दैट दैट दीज थ्री टाइप्स आर एक्सक्लूसिव वन डार्विन इधर पार्ने टीला लाइक द फ्रिंजिंग रीफ बैरियर रीफ्स एंड अटॉल्स आर द थ्री इंडिविजुअल कैटेगरी ही डिडेंट टेल दैट ही टोल्ड दैट दीज रीफ्स आर द सिक्वेंशियल वन मीन्स आफ्टर वन अनादर the formation of other coral reef will happen and that the stages will be first fringing then barrier and then atoll so this is the basic uh, uh, theory uh, of his uh, uh, the basic idea is this of his theory like the coral formation happens in the three stages like fringing barrier and atolls so do you have to understand this then what happens as the land subsides the fringing reef would grow upward and outward resulting in the formation of a shallow lagoon okay land sea floor bed form subside chidu but due to the upward growth tendency these fringing reef this coral reef will be moving towards the upper surface of the ocean and what happens it will again moving in a bordering like shape बॉर्डर लाइक शेप ले आना द अपवर्ड मूव चेन उठे अदे इन बिटवीन इन दा इट इज ट्रैपिंग द ओशनिक वाटर सो शैलो लगून टाइप स्ट्रक्चर विल बी फॉर्म फर्दर सब्सिडेंस इन केस फर्दर सब्सिडेंस इज हैपनिंग फर्दर सी फ्लोर इज गोइंग टू सब्साइड अंडर द ओशनिक वाटर सो इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू अ बैरियर रीफ सो दिस फ्रिंजिंग रीफ विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ बैरियर रीफ विथ वाइड एंड कंपेरेटिवली डीपर लैगून okay bar barrier reef is what it is a parallel and very extensive area so for the subsidence is there means the deeper lagoon will be there and the coral reef will be the very bigger one very larger one the width of the reef is the width of the reef is increased due to the rapid outward growth of the reef since the tendency of coral polyp is to grow upward so the other the width other the uh, extensivity will be very much high it will be increased and the deposition of coral debris will also happen along with the last stage of submergence okay result in partial or complete disappearance of the land and the existent existence of coral ring enclosing a lagoon so what happens when further subsidence for the submergence of the oceanic platform is there sea floor is there it will Lead to the partial or complete disappearance of land. A land of them disappear out. So what happened? The only coral ring will be available there. The base will be moved from there. So only a ring-like structure will be there in the form of coral reef, and in between the lagoon will be formed, and that is the formation of atoll. So with this, you can see that he told that these are the ev evolutionary stages of the coral reef. okay these different types of coral reefs are not the individual one these are basically the stages first fringing reef happens then barrier reef happens and after the complete subsidence atolls are formed okay in spite of continued subsidence darwin maintains that the shallowness of the lagoon would be due to the deposition of the sediments from the nearby subsiding land so land is subsiding and coral reefs are also there so due to the further erosional activity or the sediments which are coming from these land area they will be deposited at the base so when base is due to the depositional activity the base will be increasing so when base is increasing means depth is decreasing so it will make a shallow lagoon okay so that's why in atoll formation the lagoon is flat and shallow Okay, the theory, though simple in its presentation, implies that the barrier reef and atoll can occur only in the area of submergence. So he told that the barrier reef and atoll are related with the submergence of the sea floor platform. Okay, fringing reef is the first stage, and it can be formed with the any land. 
okay under the shallow water zone but when the submergence is very much intense this barrier reef and atoll can be formed okay so this is the actually basic idea of darwin subsidence theory and it is very important theory in the case of coral reef formation okay and this in this is the map you can understand it that these are the stages five six stages are there so first what happens a uh, coral reef is attached to the land area means uh, volcanic island we can say or island it is attached then what happens the further subsidence slope subsidence is happening and the coral reef is you can see the coral reef is still there along the land area then further subsidence means the bay sea floor is going down down then this coral reef is still there but the volcanic island these are submerging slowly and the lago lagoon is started uh, what we say creating okay the lagoon is being created here you can see here the water is starting collected there then comes the complete the almost the complete submergence of the land area you can see the negligible area is there land area and the coral reef is still there and in between this is these these are the water okay that's why it is called lagoon okay you can understand it and finally what happens the land is completely submerged and this is the water in between this is water and these these are the coral reef circular form and after final stage this complete circular formation is there due to the further deposition of these particles further sediments marine sediments are also being deposited and it will form a complete ring like structure and in between the uh, shallow water will be trapped making shallow lagoon so this is the formation of atoll so you can see that from the first stage that is fringing reef to atoll formation so these are the stages of development of coral reefs on the basis of subsidence theory because the subsidence of sea floor platform is very much important and very much significant in this case okay so evolution of theory means whether this theory is practically correct or not so if fringing reef barrier reefs and atoll reefs as maintained by darwin are only three stages of revolutionary evolutionary growth of reef then fringing reef and barrier reef should not be found on either side of the island at the same level but observations and new discoveries have revealed the existence of such situations so darwin told that all these are related to each other means one by one stages are after one the another stage will be there he told like that but uh, after several studies it was found that i uh, any of the island or any of the uh, land area then the rand side le rand type und means one side le barrier reef and another side fringing reef is there so if according to darwin if all these were related to one another then why we are finding the two types of coral reefs on both the sides of the island okay so that's it that that is the thing that there will be some critical problem or there will be some lacking of understanding or scientific uh, Uh, what we say significance is lacking in this theory so this is a proof then another if the subsidence theory is accepted then most of the islands of the pacific ocean would be submerged okay if uh, if we are accepting the subsidence theory of the coral formation then in pacific ocean most of the islands are formed with the coral uh, reformation okay these are all the coral islands most of the case so in that case what happens the all the islands will be submerged agna case ayirengil all these land area will be submerged but they are not submerged they are still existing so it means uh, that this subsidence theory is having some critical problem there are also some evidences of the existence of coral reefs associated with the emerging island so not with the subsidence there are also the example with the uh, association with the emerging islands means in some area in some oceanic uh, zones some islands are emerging 
due to the earth movement and with that emerging islands coral reefs are also associated also formed so not so this is also a critical uh, what we say uh, a drawback that not only with subsidence there there are also examples with the emerging lands so these are the actually a criticism of the subsidence, subsidence theory proposed by charles darwin so you can write in in the points okay then next comes the uh, another theory that is stand still theory of murray so this theory is uh, the example of non subsidence subsidence theory okay so we discussed now that two categories are there subsidence theory and non subsidence theory so this the stand still theory of murray is uh, from the non subsidence theory of coral reef formation so uh, theory is based on the concept of non subsidence or stand still situation fall in into two categories so non subsidence they pinne rand category the first category ana that coral grow upon suitable stable submarine platforms that first is category parin unde that for coral growth or stable rocky submarine platform should be there and with the unchanging sea level and in that condition the sea level will be normal adana valiya variation vendan while according to the second group second group enna parinu that suitable platforms becomes necessary due to the lowering of sea level and consequent erosion of land by sea waves but the land always remains stable so the second group is saying that submarine platforms are somewhat available on when the lowering of sea level and consequent erosion of land is very much less okay so the second group is saying that the submarine platform should be available in the case of a uh, lowering of sea level means when sea level is le lesser means lowering and the erosion of land is also less in that case the submarine platform can be available and in that case the attachment of the coral can be possible okay so stand still theory of murray is related to the first group okay and it was proposed in 1880 on the basis of information received during the challenger expedition and according to him the coral polyps can live up to the depth of 30 fathoms means he told that that coral coral can go into the somehow deeper zone of the ocean he told that the coral can also uh, grow in the moderate depth of the oceanic area sea level and submarine platforms are stable he told that sea should be calm and submarine platforms should be stable there should be no any kind of activities several submarine platforms volcanic peaks islands are present below sea level but submarine platforms volcanic pe peaks and islands are also available below the sea level means there can be some uh, instances or examples of these earth activities there so according to murray the development of different types of coral structure is based on the topography of shallow ocean and the effect of lagoon water so he according to him he is telling that the coral development the coral reef formation is based on the topography of shallow ocean ocean de characteristics engane aanu and the lagoon water the water is trapped between the land area other de characteristics other de nature vechittaanu the coral reefs are formed according to him so he is not supporting any kind of subsidence or submergence of sea floor then according to this theory for the development of coral reef it is necessary to have submarine platform whose depth should not exceed 54 to 55 meter so he is telling that for the development of coral reef there should be a submarine platform one stable platform should be there so that this coral can be attached to that but other than depth valare deep avanda he is telling about the medium depth of the ocean then comes the uh, that the this suitable depth can be obtained by two processes means between 54 to 55 meter the depth should be there so that the coral can be uh, grown easily 
and this depth can be attached uh, means obtained with the help of two process if the submarine platforms are higher than this they are degraded by erosion and solution action and if they are located below this depth they are subjected to submarine pelagic deposition and attain the required depth so he is telling that 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 particular depth means 54 to 55 meter can be attached to uh attach can be attained by two processes first is that if submarine platforms are higher than this depth okay this uh, required depth ne kaalum koodal aanengil endana adu erode erode cheyidittu adane required depth le kondarum otherwise if these submarine platforms are lesser means adande depth lower aanengil endana adalle molle pala type of pelagic deposition marine sediments will be deposited and it will require a uh, it will attain a required depth okay then coral polyps develop on such platform in large colonies and together these colonies form the coral reef you know initially the reef develops in the form of fringing reef and its lagoon is shallow okay so first condition in the first stage in the that when these uh, coral polyps are attached to the land area and then when they uh, uh, what consolidating the uh, calcium carbonate skeleton they will be forming the fringing reef the coral 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 polyps on the outer edge of the platform grows relatively quickly so when they are attaching with a land area this is a any kind of land and when they are attaching the outer edge of the platform means this is the idana outer edge so this will be uh growing very fast than the inward section and after some time the coral reef extends beyond the beyond a depth of 54 to 55 meter and after attaining this boundary small pieces of coral are broken down and deposited on the base of coral reefs okay certain depth lendana they will be moving they will be growing but after attaining this particular depth 54 to 55 meter he told that coral should be developed and they can attend only this range he was telling so after attaining this range what happens if again corals are growing be, uh, beyond this depth they will be eroded means they will be broken into different pieces and these pieces will be deposited at the base of the coral reef then the taalavala bhagathile ad deposit chey thus without the subsidence of land the coral reef extends into the deep ocean so what happens ఇదండే బ్రోకెన్ పీసెస్ తనేయాన అదంటే బేస్ లో డిపాజిట్ చేయనండ్ అండ్ డ్యూ టు ది డిపోజిషన్ అదంటే డెప్త్ ఆర్ డెప్త్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్టెండింగ్ ఇంటు ది డీప్ ఓషన్ ది కోరల్ పాలిప్స్ లివింగ్ ఆన్ దిస్ పైల్ ఆఫ్ డెబ్రిస్ మేక్స్ ఇట్స్ డెవలప్‌మెంట్ అవుట్వర్డ్ సో దిస్ డెవలప్‌మెంట్ ఇస్ అవుట్వర్డ్ ఆన్ ది అదర్ హ్యాండ్ ది కోరల్ పాలిప్స్ ఆఫ్ ది ఇన్నర్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది రీఫ్ డైస్ డ్యూ టు ది ల్యాక్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ okay so uh, he was fixing a particular depth that that is 54 to 55 meter and below that uh, if coral reefs are ex- extending beyond this depth yeah, means if they are increasing uh, their growth to go deeper in the uh, ocean then the small pieces of coral will be broken down and then these will be deposited on the coral reef hence in that condition the subsidence means without the subsidence these coral reefs are going deeper into the ocean okay means without any land subsidence without any submergence due to the pressure of this coral deposition only these are going below okay so this is the dif- different between the first subsidence theory and between this the coral polyps living on the pile of debris makes its development outward on the other hand the coral polyps on the inner part of the reef dies due to the lack of food okay sometimes uh, to uh, interior le uh, kitna uh, coral reefs will be dying because there will be no good source of food and the fresh water of the river flows into the lagoon of the fringing reef so some kind of fresh water or the water will be flowing to this reef area making a lagoon the water of the lagoon slowly begins to dissolve the lime dominated structure of the reef since the water is trapped so it will slowly dissolve the lime because lime is easily soluble 
when solution action begins in the lagoon the lagoon begins to deepen and the internal gradient of the coral structure intensifies in such a situation the barrier reef is developed okay so fringing reef is first developed and when the inter interior uh, deposition is there interior interior solution is there then the then the agatola slope will be the gradient will be very much intense very deep iric and in that case the long parallel like structure that is barrier reef will be developed when the solution action becomes more intense the depth of the lagoon further increases and the internal gradient of the coral structure become more intense so further uh, what we say the uh, down part or the interior part is uh, be being solved with the action of sea water and the depth of the uh, lagoon is increasing and this type of feature is called atoll okay so lagoon is there which is becoming deep and the surrounding part is there uh, as coral reef and making a an atoll regarding the construction of the atoll more said that they were built independently due to the circular growth of por coral polyps at the top of submarine platforms so he told that these atolls are uh, independently formed they are not the last stage of the fringing reef then the last stage ala it is separate it and build chevatna means due to the deposition of further broken pieces further marine sediments due to the outward growth of coral polyps these are formed in a circular shape and makes the uh, atoll formation dead coral on the side of the lagoon dissolves continuously in the water which causes the lagoon to expand but the outward development of the coral reef continues with increase the size of the atoll that is its thickness and width so dead coral means the coral which which was died due to the lack of food dissolves continuously in water other than uh, dissolution the process in the chedod reef which causes the lagoon lagoon to expand so due to the dissolution what happens the lagoon area is becoming expandable other expand chedod reef and the outward development but the outward development means the development towards the sea that that will be continuing so increase the so it will help in the size increasement of the atoll atoll the size increase out and as well as the lagoon the expand it means the extension extension of the lagoon will also be started okay so in this thing you can see here the deposition of the marine sediments are there rings of corals are there and lagoon in between so criticisms are also there according to this theory construction of coral reefs innumerable submarine platforms and peaks should exist at the depth of 54 to 50 so this is the range which he proposed so it is not possible that only this particular range the coral reefs can be formed they can formed in any kind of shallow to mid zone area according to this theory the surface of the lagoon is the result of solubility and maximum depth of the coral reef can be 54 to 55 but this assumption is not only possible karnam the soluble capacity of saline water is very low okay due to the salinity the solu uh, soluble capacity of water is low so it cannot possible that the solution or dissolution of the lime particles of the coral reef will be done second the uh, evidence of deposition in state of soluble chemical action at the bottom of lagoon is less means there is evidence under that deposition in state of soluble chemical action means there are depositional activities will be going on at the bottom base not the soluble chemical action okay so deposition is more than the solubility of the lime particles of the coral reef third the depth of many lagoon is 100 meter or more so some lagoons are also very much deep means more than 100 meter so it is also due to the uh, different uh, what we say actions different submergence or subsidence processes so he told that this is the thing that 54 to 50 55 meter range is not possible and it seems possible to have both erosion and deposition processes at the same depth on the basis of these facts this theory has almost rejected 
and at present it has only theoretical and historical recognition so these are the some drawbacks or criticism on the basis of these this theory is not uh, followable this we cannot follow this theory for the coral reef formation okay so this is the uh, idea about the coral reef formation theory okay so you can refer it